Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Mike Dixon, Simple Your Device, coming at you with the Friday Car Vlog on a Thursday. Yes, folks, you are probably seeing this on a Friday. Oh, no, you will see this on a Friday. I am shooting it today. Uh, today's Thursday, the 26th of January. I'm in Malka Hill, starting to shoot the vlog a little early today. A lot of things going on, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Cold 46 degree day, but the sun will be out after, man, yesterday that, that rain was, rain was rough, rough. That good as it was rain, not snow. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody had a good week. Hope everybody had time to enjoy your tech. Mike, why are you shooting today? Why Thursday? Well, tomorrow, I have tomorrow off, and the car will be in the shop for it's just a routine maintenance. And uh, I figure, you know what? I got a lot going on. Tomorrow's a little bit of a honeydew day. A little bit of the things the wife wants me to do. And I'm not going to have the time to shoot. And really, the other vehicle is not set up for doing car vlogging. Uh, it does not have a IOTI mount like this one that I have for this vehicle. My wife didn't like that one. I tried to, tried to get her to use the one I got for her, but she didn't care for it. So anyway, uh, interesting article I was... Uh, reading today out of Android Authority talking about how Apple wants to have a have an all out war <sighs> war uh, on Google and uh, what I read in this article which by the way the link will be down below uh, this, this war has been an ongoing an ongoing thing Apparently, going back to the days of Steve Jobs being being uh, in the in power, he had uh, felt that Google stole from Apple, and basically, a you know, they're going after the, the the core the core of Google. They're going their maps search and advertising and reading it the what I read was uh, well, recently apparently Apple Maps is getting uh, better and I do admit I I will use it from time to time and, and not have any uh, no issues with it uh, but they also are now getting businesses on board with Apple Maps like Google where you'll you know, a, 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 like a partnership like Google has for, for a business that I guess to show up on the map, advertising, whatever the case may be. Uh, search, they're apparently now one of the things, what I, how I read was in search that there's going to be like an Apple search and the person who's paying for the advertising can opt out of having to, uh, third parties and you know, be exclusive Apple search only. And the, uh, and the, was that, no, maybe I had that wrong. I could be wrong. Read the article down below. I want to say, was that or was that for advertising? I, I, I'm terribly sorry. I'm driving, so I can't read parts of it as I go along here. But, uh, it was just an interesting piece that I found that we're at war. Like, Google doesn't have enough money. <laughs> and you know what? They left this on the table. They, they, they left this stuff on the table for the taking. And now they decided to wake up and, and see, hey, that... Google's king in advertising, in search, and they apparently feel that they're pretty, well, everybody defaults to, nobody's using another map service that, I, you know, I, I forget the other one, 
Remember you used to buy the GPSs, the Tom Toms? I don't even think they're, they're, they're around. If they are, you don't see them for sale. Funny you you that, that reminds me. Anyway, my work, for whatever reason, bought GPSs a few years ago for our drivers. And I'm like, why just use the phone? I don't get it. I don't get why. But I think TomTom has their own app. I don't forget, there was one other map company. Oh, wait, it was a Microsoft app. Uh, we map or some, I forget. Anyway, I'm babbling on. So I want to give the last part of this my, my review, my opinion, my time with AT&T prepaid. And I picked this up I don't know how long ago now. Uh, uh, early December it was. I picked it up, and and I, I want to just uh, share my time with AT and T prepaid. And for me, I'm in the Philadelphia market. I, I live in New Jersey, a, a suburb of Philadelphia. I work in Delaware, and the coverage is strong. The coverage is really good not crazy about how they define what's 5G. Uh, once in a while, I'll get LTE speeds. Now, there are pockets here on the New Jersey Turnpike that are uh, almost dead zones. And it will drop to uh, LTE. Earlier on, I will admit, a lot of carriers seem to bump up their coverage so uh, dead spots are more LTE than than versus a dead spot and um, now my issues with my issues with with them is customer service and yes they're, they're a third party customer service that you wind up getting that's in another country and they're reading a script I have no Wi-Fi calling now one of the things I am going to do tomorrow is call AT&T and complain and see what did they do with my Wi-Fi calling. When I initially had the setup for it, let me let me let me go back for a second. This uh, A52 AT&T model, uh, I stuck my Boost Mobile SIM for the final few weeks in the A52 just to see. And it surprised me it worked. I had like great coverage, 5G, 5G plus. I had uh, I had Wi-Fi calling. It, it was it, I was shocked, and, and and but I really, really, really wanted. I was oh, that was the thing. I was concerned not getting all my all my uh, updates, and it seemed like the updates they rolled out and then they stopped because this phone was shut off for quite some time. The A52 was not being used probably easily six months or so so I was trying to push all the updates and, and then the updates came up short and I said well you know what let me try let me try AT&T coverage anyway and I got a few more updates and with it but when I went from boost to AT&T that's where things got all wonky and I stopped having it and it's, it's there it says it's there. It says turn me on. And I turn it on. And it says can't can't work. Don't work. Try later. Kind of thing. Now, like, all right. I had I had a lot of issues porting a number over and get and getting it to work correctly. Getting my account to work correctly. The uh, interface to go pay your bill to go go to the website there's 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 no dedicated I mean there is there is a website which is really compared to some other uh, websites like US mobile and mint mobile are really nice websites to conduct your business to see how much your usage is and stuff like that and I'm going to have to call AT&T tomorrow and see if I can get my Wi-Fi call and to, to get turned on. 
Uh, it's way too much money. $30 for five gigs. This is definitely putting pressure on me to put it on the choppy block because $30 can buy me a tank of gas. <laughs> Uh, just a, just a, as a, as a, uh, do I, I don't need the line, what I'm getting at. I really don't need the line. But, uh, I like playing with the A52, and I like having a live, a live line on it, so I might give it another month. The surface is good. Everything else is junk. I don't know how else to say it. You know, dealing with uh, their customer service, dealing with their, there's no app. There's no app to be able to go. You're going to have to go in a web browser to access your account from your phone. All right, listen, I'm going to end it here. Um, word of the day, word of the day. Yeah, we're going to do the word of the day, AT&T. We'll do AT&T for... Uh, the word of the day. If you're new here, uh, thank you. Uh, consider subscribing. Uh, join the ever-growing membership. Uh, return subscribers, thank you as always. By the way, today's video is shot on the Pixel 7. 1080p, I believe at 60 frames per second. Everybody have a good weekend. I'm Mike Dixon. This is Simple Your Device. Enjoy your tech. I'm out.